Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook that they're, when they double click their pen tool, nothing happens. It doesn't come up where you can change your graphic to a hairline. So if that ever happens and you don't have many pages open, you can just shut Corel down and reopen it. It'll start back working most likely. There is a little bug. This is 2021 and I've noticed it's happened to me a couple of times. But there's other ways to get around that. One, you could go right here at this pen tool and click on that with nothing selected and that box will come up. Also, you can hit F12 in the same box. And this is how you're gonna set it for default. If we wanna set it at, we wanna draw everything at 500 points in black. And we do that, then everything's gonna be 500 points in black. I like nine set on hairline in red, so we're gonna change that. So I'm gonna double click on here, go hairline, graphic at okay, and your set R, double click on here, graphic, and then it'll actually ask you what to set it at and what color. So I want mine on red, so F12 will get there too. And while I was thinking about this video, I was thinking you could make this a hotkey Let's make this quite thick so you can see it. I just made a hotkey with shift and one and it turned it back to a hairline. I did shift and two and it turned it to 500 points. As you can see right here, if you look, it's a hairline shift and the number two. I just made that. Let's do number three. Let's make a three. Let's go up to tools, options, customization, commands and then right here under files go uh, fields and outline and let's look for let's make a two point so we got a one point and two point just click on that and go to shortcut and where I'm going to type in right here new I'm going to shift it shift three assign okay so now well it says it's pixels but well, let me see what this is set at. So you can go right here and yeah, if it's set in pixels. So let's set it to points. Okay, and this is a hairline. No, it's 500 points. So I'm going to go shift F or shift one and turn it into hairline. Now I'm going to go shift three and it turned it into two points. So if you just think about that, if you draw in number of shapes, let's turn this back shift one to a hairline. Let's make a couple of duplicates of it. And so they're all hairlines. So you could go on the second one, you could go shift two, made it 500 points, shift, shift three, made it two points. It's a two point line. It's kind of hard to tell the difference when they're blown up like that, but you can see them side by side. Now, let's say you have, just for grins, I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate of this guy. Let's say you have a bunch of boxes or a bunch of shapes that are hairlines and you wanna change them all to thickness. Now, different thickness, you can always select them Double click on your pen tool and let's make them 36 points. Or if they're sp sp scattered around and you can't get to them all, or you only want this one and this one. So let's make this 500 points or let's make it 1600 points so we can see it. You can always go to your attribute eyedropper and pick that and then go and, and change the ones you want to change the attribute to. You know, you can do them all. You know, and if this happened to be black, get the attribute eyedropper tool, take a sample, and now you're changing them all to black or whichever one you want just by clicking around on them. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.